Hello guys and girls, it's Daniel back here. I'm gonna uh, finish my third tutorial here. Well, the third part of the tutorial, how to use a Tinker Construct. And I have some few things here and uh, look at the side and I create something for you guys. And I'm gonna show everything. Well, first things first, this is brownstone. Present you guys, brownstones, brownstone, guys, you know. So, what exactly this? You can create brownstone, like rough brownstone, and you can walk a bit fast over that. Bit fast is the description that they gave it when you go not enough items. And uh, yeah, indeed, you walk a little faster on this one. We're gonna test all of them. And I have several types of brownstone, brownstone road, brick, br another brownstone road, that, that okay, yeah. That's the brownstone rough road or something, and this is the brownstone uh, finished road. Well, you're gonna see there's a difference between those two, and that's the one I like most. Pretty fast. Look, yeah, it's almost I'm running. If I run, it's even faster. So, I'm gonna uh, teach you guys how to create them and how to use. First thing for the rough brownstone, what I'm gonna need is molten thing and gravel so yeah I have some here I already uh, put in the furnace here so you are gonna see I have a lot of molten thing notice that I have like three nuggets so what means is that for every gravel I put here and I pour molten thing on top you're gonna use like one one bit of that so now I have like one nugget only and I have here another two pieces of brownstone, uh, the rough one. All good. So now that you know how to do, well, you guys remember if you want to melt thing, you just uh, like throw thing here and get a melt and gonna have molten thing. So that's the idea. Uh, well, easy way to to know is a molten thing plus gravel. You're gonna have rough brownstone. If you want to transform rough in brownstone you just need to cook it so it, if you put in the furnace you're gonna have brownstone all good well for the brownstone road there's a bit different you need to use a rough brownstone you have to use your iron chisel and you're gonna have a brownstone road I, I'm gonna show you guys and um, yeah that's pretty straightforward you put a chisel here uh, you put the rough brownstone on side and you're gonna have brownstone road as the description say you run pretty fast that that's the one all good another one brownstone brick brownstone brick is not made well, uh, not this one uh, but pro this you have to put brownstone just chisel again and you're gonna create a brownstone brick from the brownstone brick you can create brownstone road pretty nice huh and fancy brownstone you just put brownstone road and gonna create a fancy brownstone and last one is you put fancy uh, with an iron chisel again well it doesn't mean to be iron you can have any chisel you want and uh, you're gonna have a chisel brownstone so that's it now you guys know how to do it look pretty nice and you can walk fast on those things here uh, probably you guys are hurting the my my mob over there. I created a, a cemetery, and I'm gonna show you guys how it works. So, oh good, that that's amazing. Uh, I will build a city when I put all of those here. They're gonna really look amazing. And uh, well, that's good. That's the first part. Now you know how to do it. Let me just set today again. And now I'm gonna show something different. If I put here rotten flesh, bone meal, and dirt, I gotta have graveyard soil. So yeah, it heals undead. And if I cook that, you're gonna create. Um, I don't remember the name. I think it's blessed soil or something like this. But uh, we're gonna see it right now consecrated soil okay yeah uh, uh, is harmful and that's 
And I'm uh, gonna show how it works, and then I'm gonna show what exactly those coins are. So you guys see, I put a layer of. Uh, okay. This is the concentrated soil, and this is the gravator soil. So those ants here, what they what they do is they just walk around, and as you see, they walk on. They they're harmed and at the same time, so pretty nice, huh? If I want to heal them, I just need them to walk over the brown part here. Yeah, that's just one of my. There you go. It's healing itself. Pretty good. So that's it. That's the idea. Oh, there's a uh, the inferno mob over there. Okay, so I don't know what's the use of this. Probably, if you wanna like protect your house, you're gonna wanna create like uh, 20 layers of uh, soil around your place. So when undeads come to get you, yeah, I'm bossing. Yes, I am. And I'm gonna show you guys later. And uh, so we're gonna create like uh, 20 of them. And uh, when they, they walk to get you, it's too late, they're gonna die. So, could be a good idea, why not? Okay, so now is this weird thing here. What is exactly this? This is slime. Yeah, I gotta show you guys. What, when you get the slime, you know that Tinker Construct, they add like uh, the this blue slime here. And uh, you can have, yeah. <laughs> Slime balls and gelatinous slime. It's almost the same for the purpose of the game. The only difference is that the mob itself, when you kill the blue one, it doesn't split in two. It's just gonna reduce the size and uh, yeah, you're gonna have less gelatinous smile for what you have. Okay, so let me show you guys something. I have like several types. I have the conjure, blue slime slime brick and fence slime brick in order to do a uh, congealed something you put like four like this and you're gonna have well, if you put it back you can have your four back so you don't lose material on that that's pretty good because just in case you want to store there you go you have it here and you want it back you have it too so what I'm gonna do now is put this one here with an iron chisel I don't know how it works but there you go slime brick and if I put slime brick I'm gonna have fast slime brick if I put it here happens nothing yeah it's finished so well that's it you have this is the concrete with the slime this is the brick and uh, oh, no rain, no rain. and this one here is the fancy oh look the same oh amazing and uh, let's say if I jump on that I get a bounce and this one does a kind of weird sound and use like four uh, slime balls so I prefer to use this one here no sound at all and you bounce either way good thing about those things is that if I go to my trampoline yeah I have a trampoline in my yard yeah, that's it. I can jump down and Ooh. pretty nice. Huh? Oh, I I just missed the <laughs> the second. <laughs> no problem. I hope I don't die. Okay, I'm gonna try the second one. Pretty nice, huh? And the second you're not gonna bump again. It's just the first one. So pretty nice you want to have a trampoline in your place you can do using those bricks not bad at all right that's it oh by the way uh, I'm, I'm starting not, not starting but uh, I will so, so let's do something okay all good so what else we have here we have something different yeah that's something really amazing. Let me just break this one here and I get a show. This is, I'm gonna present you guys, it's an igniter. What it does? Put fire in front or? Cool, huh? 
if you wanna have a fireplace or wanna have like a a nether portal and you wanna ignite and stop and you you can always use something like this. It's like a permanent the fire you can put on the floor. It always gonna burn. It's not even if it's grass, it's gonna burn because what is burning is what you have here. Cool, huh? So let me show you guys how to do it. Boing. I have here on the right side igniter. You must create first a nether rack large plate, put flint steel with some bronze and aluminium brass. So yeah, if you guys remember here, we have the materials and you and this one shows uh pretty sure that that's the one. Let me just see. Does not say how to okay. It shows the shows the bronze but uh not how to do it. So probably does that's not the right book. Yeah, that's not the right book. Must be uh okay, I don't remember. Let me check this one here. Uh no. Oh yeah, now you have barricade here. Pretty nice, huh? And punch it stick. It's kind of a, a new add to the mod. I think the upgrade was today. So that that's pretty new even to me. I played this for a while, but that's uh, pretty pretty new. And uh, okay, that's good. New things. Okay, alloys. So that's the one. Okay, bronze is made of copper and one thing, and aluminium brass is three aluminium, one copper. Now that we know this, uh, we know how to create bronze and aluminium brass. All good. The nether hack large plate. Large plate, you need to create a blank. When the blank, you have to create a big plate, uh, like I, I showed before. Uh, you just need to. Where is that? There you go, you put it here. Uh, board, no, plate, plate. There you go. You create a plate here, and with that plate, you put it down here, and let's say, okay, I cannot do a thin plate. Oh, that, oh, sorry. Of course, not gonna work, because I need like aluminum brass or molten gold to create uh, a, a cast and after I have my cast I can drip the, the liquid metal inside the cast and I'm gonna create a plate or the nether rack in this case so all good works like this perfect so now that I know how to do this igniter I'm gonna show the other one is the draw bridge Drawbridge is this one here. The creation is almost the same, but instead of a uh, netherrack large plate, you just need a blank cast, a dispenser, and a redstone. And you're gonna need some items to put inside, depends on what you're gonna use to create the. Okay, let's put this back here. And uh, as you see, I put some dirt, and uh, I choose the direction I wanna my, my bridge to go. And I put a lot of dirt inside, or let's say if I want to create using other thing. Well, I don't have enough items for this, but that's okay. Let's use dirt. How it works? I click here, and there you go. It just create a bridge. Nice, huh? Pretty solid, and really works. Now I have this bridge here. Cool, huh? But just in case you want to know what is this area here if you put let's say one dirt what's gonna happen is that your door bridge is gonna look like a dirt oh, huh? so that you can disguise yeah pretty nice huh and uh, what is the fun part does not bounce so if you want to kill someone <laughs> that, that's a good thing to do yeah <laughs> Because does not get the, the properties of the material, just it's just a disguise. That's all. So that's a well. That's a lot of things. It's a red knight again. Just put day. 
And uh, now that you know how to do both of them, well, they go kind of pretty far. I'm uh, just gonna show you guys how far it goes. Uh, well, it is not too much. You're just gonna reach the other side. change for stun bricks uh, no not gonna work because I just have nine okay I gotta move to put there and uh, show how far he goes and then I really cool huh? that's the max lamp I can have cool really nice huh and he put a lot of materials in that let's say we want to create something with that all good just need a couple of them at least enough to feel that and change here before I remove that I put the marble marble cobblestones Okay. Okay, so uh, that means I gonna have like twenty two length on that. No, it's uh, that, that's weird. Oh, it's just fifteen. Okay, I cannot remove that, so it makes sense. So that's pretty much everything. Now I know that I have a 15 for, uh, meters for bridge, and I can put several one on the other of this. Well, like I have another one here, and that's it. Let's just get one bit of redstone just in case, and uh, let's uh, clear it off and put the second one uh. yeah that's gonna take a little more redstone than I thought but uh. I just forgot to put my dirt inside uh. and choose the direction so okay, gonna work better now uh. and uh, there you go so that's it pretty uh. nice huh put wood gonna be wood uh, wooden bridge or something well it's pretty nice you wanna like harvest some uh, glowstone in nether you can always put some drawbridge and walk get the all the glowstone and just come back home without having to remove all the blocks and don't leave the everything really really ugly so uh, pretty nice huh yeah those are the new inventions and um, that's it uh, is all for today i think uh well the others uh whoa what was that kind of <laughs> Yeah, I think that no, I had no idea what was that. So okay, uh, if you guys remember here, uh, we have all the others. Uh, let's say broad axe and uh, everything. For those, I just need to say something. If I want to create like a broad axe head pattern or let's say a large plate, the cost of the material is eight so like eight materials so if you have like eight ingots you're gonna create just one broad axe head pattern okay so that's a lot 
and uh, in order to assemble them you're gonna need something a little more powerful than a tool station you're gonna need a tool forge that's the one I don't need 64 but uh, yep just remove this and that will be the one tool forge you're gonna have like all those items and how to create them in order to be able to create a tool forge and I'm gonna show you the recipe here that's it four blocks of iron a tool station and three steel bricks probably you, you still have some steel bricks from what you create here and uh, well that's it pretty nice huh well at least now you guys how to work with tinker construct you know how to do almost all the things uh well now uh i invite you guys to try and see how it works and uh if you find something different or something that you want to know or want to have more information about please post on on on, on those series here the practical tinker construct series and I'm gonna ask you guys, uh, don't worry, I'm always reading the news and now re reading the comments. And I uh, pretty appreciate if you guys like my, my videos and subscribe to me. And don't forget, I have my X series and uh, please watch it, it's really nice. So take care guys and have a good one. Bye bye.